You know, if you're Carmel, you can count on Chrissy Stephan and Danielle Havel to make plays. Who else is going to step up and step up when they need him? 35, Andy Rubin Dunst has checked into the ball game for the Carmel Greyhounds. They'll go to Havel, make the kick, Shelby Zeller, and she finishes. Shelby Zeller stepping up to make a play in terms of answering my own question. But you see defensively the strategy from Hamilton Southeastern is give quick help and double up in the post any time uh, that Danielle Havel has the ball inside. They do a, she did a nice job of seeing the, the pressure and kicking it out to Courtney Zeller, or excuse me, to Shelby Zeller. Courtney Osborne was six points in the first quarter to pace her ball club. Nice give and go down low off the high post. Open Paige Smith, seven points in the first half for Paige now. Nicely done, nicely designed play. Strong drive to the baseline by Stefan. Beats the defender to the spot. And to have a nice feel for the game. Carmel on the inbounds. Lead it by three, 19-16. Seven to go in the half. Here at Carmel, game two of this girls opening round sectional action. Pass to the baseline, saved inbounds. Into the hands of Brett Williams. Williams with pressure from Tory Thornton gets rid of it. Shovels it ahead to Courtney Osborne. She appears to be the calming influence offensively for Hamilton. Oh, she absolutely is. Now, she, she is, and, and the thing about her is she doesn't really hurry things. That's not a bad look. And, not for uh, her, not know, at all. Thornton no, and uh, all. Haven got together and uh, didn't really communicate yeah. off the rebound. And can score inside and shoot it, handle it. Does a lot of different things. They'll get it around the perimeter in a hurry. Cook with a basketball, gives it to Courtney Osborne. She'll walk it out near the midcourt's drive. Now look for Cook flashing out on the right side. Top of the circle, Lamb. Osborne from the elbow, skips it down low. Now gets it back, almost picked off. She'll spot up for three. It's a little short. Haven with the window. Stefan on the flip. Top of the key, no. White shirts abound down low. The beneficiary was Ashley Spearman, who has her fourth point. When you talk about that player to step up, uh, it's Ashley Spearman. You know, right place, right time, nice finish, but she's she's done the little things for Carmel right now to help to get this five-point uh, advantage. 21-16, the five-point advantage. Five and a half to play in the half. Carmel leading Hamilton Southeastern. Again, both ball clubs 16 and four. Hamilton Southeastern won the regular season matchup. Off the screen, knocked to the floor to It'll three. Courtney Osborne, and boy. You think about not fouling. You get the miss, you get the rebound. Three for three. That's some extra time put in in the gym, wouldn't you say? Nine points yeah. for her. Two-point deficit for her club, 21-19. Danielle Havel with the basketball. 10 points in the first quarter. Is yet to get on track here in period number two. Stefan kicks it to her. She wants a screen. They don't set her up, though. Gives it right back to Stefan. Burn. The lob. Stolen away. She fights for it right back. Look at that. That's one thing, obviously, that they've worked on. Chris Huppenthal made that a point of emphasis with his kids. But here you are with the ball. Hamilton Southeastern chance to tie or take the lead. Boy, and every time you think Carmel's going to try to make a little run and run off and hide, something happens like three free throws. Ill-advised pass, skipped across the top of the zone. Someone needs to come to it. They finally do. Deep in the backcourt is Courtney Osborne. Nine points of the first half for Courtney. Four and a half to play in the half now. She'll get a nice screen. Kick it right back to Paige Smith. Smith back to Smith, back to Osborne. Out of Brett Williams. Yeah, they'll reset it. But you watch a lot. You'll see a, in this offense a little high, high ball screen, especially with Paige Smith and Courtney Olson. Or Courtney, Os Cor Courtney Osborne. I'm Carmel sorry. tightens the screws a bit up defensively. Williams is able to come down with the basketball. Lost it again into the hands of Stefan. Stefan drives. No foul. Rebound shot put up and in by Tory Thornton trailing the play. A lot of contact there and no whistle surprise. A lot of contact. But, you know, you always tell your kids, make sure you sprint down on a layup. And be right there, Tory Thornton, the beneficiary of just good hard work. 
Under four minutes to play now. Three-pointer, top of the key, nothing but that. How about that? Paige Smith in double figures with ten, a couple of three-pointers on the evening. Closes to within one now. Three and a half to play in the half, 23-22. Well, they've shot it well, there's no question. Three-pointer the other way, burn. A little short there with the opportunistic offensive rebound and the finish, Ashley Spearman with six. There she is again. Right place, right time, knows how to finish, knows for the ball, those kinds of things. Just great hustle on the part of Ashley Spearman. Back to a three-point lead for Carmel. Hamilton Southeastern with a basketball. Play down low, shot put up by Kelsey Lamb. Plenty of good defense by Tori Thornton, altered that shot a little bit. Three the other way, the answer. Chrissy Steffen with eight points now. Suddenly, it's a six-point advantage, 28-22. Matches their largest lead with under three to go in the half. Well, Chrissy Stephan averaging 18 and a half, and you see why. Again, off transition, in rhythm, on the dribble. Overplaying on defense. Good recognition by Hamilton Southeastern. Calm down the, uh, the run to stop the run of the other team. Second attempt on the way. It's no good. 0 for 2, that trip. Can't do that. No, it hurts when you get a dry possession when you had a chance. You're down six. You, you can't have empty possessions like that. Maggie Byrne with a basketball. They'll run a little weave out high. Stefan drives it in traffic. Lost the handle. Controlled by Brett Williams. Williams to Courtney Osborne. Runs it up with under two and a half to play. Almost lost it. Almost had her pocket pick. Look at that. Nice find for Paige Smith on the block. And she has 12 now. Seven points in the quarter for Paige Smith. Four-point advantage now for Carmel. They have the basketball. Good drive. This is going on. Steps to the free throw line and calmly drains them both. The two winners tonight will play Friday night at 6 o'clock to be followed by Westfield and Noblesville. Under two to play now. Hamilton Southeastern trailing. They have the basketball as action resumes. Williams between the rings. Goes to Sinella. They'll work at baseline, almost threw it away. Osborne kicks it in the corner. Deep three-pointer by Brett Williams. She's two for two from beyond the arc tonight, has six points. That's what we're talking about. Find that extra option, that third option. Nicely done. Patient. Carmel came out, gave him a little different look. 30-27. Havel, a little short. Rebound controlled by Courtney Osborne, and she fouled. I think we could. Southeast Which just five. addresses how, how well both teams have played defensively. Right. Backdoor cut, dangerous pass. Can't believe they were able to pull that off. Williams can't finish and then turns around and throws it away, trying to flip it back to Osborne. Yeah, Carmel with the basketball and the three-point advantage. Spearman and company, they go to Havel. She finds some room on the baseline and throws it up and in. Well, how do you, you know what? She makes you make decisions how you want to defend her. She can knock down the three. She can put it on the deck and get to the glass. She really makes it difficult for you to figure out how you want to defend it. 12 on the night. She had 10 of the first quarter. Nice pass. Flashing through is Paige Smith. She throws it up short. Tracks down her own rebound across the way and saves it to Courtney Osborne. Osborne, plenty of lean in there. I figured they'd get Maggie Byrne with her second. She go in down five or down Less than five, so to speak. 32-27. You don't want to turn it over. Five-point deficit coach is talking about. Courtney Osborne with a basketball. Some pressure put on by Shelby Zeller. Enough to make her uncomfortable, but not enough to put the count on. Clock down to 10 seconds. little high double screen. They switch. They go to Paige Smith. Three-pointer top of the circle. First one she's missed in the half. Spearman with the basketball to Havel. Deep three-pointer. Oh, didn't finish the quarter the way she finished the first quarter by banging one home right before the buzzer. Nonetheless, Carmo will head to the locker room with the advantage, and that advantage being five. 32-27 over Hamilton Southeast. 